Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Have you ever thought about this question, when the whole world is competing on the same track, would it be the best choice to change the track? In the super field of EUV lithography, which is monopolized by the Netherlands, the Chinese scientific research team is doing this, they did not choose to confront ASML's technical route head-on, but quietly embarked on a rarely traveled technical path. Recently, it was reported that China may have made a breakthrough in the LDP, laser-induced discharge plasma, technical route, and this year we may be able to see the true appearance of domestic lithography machines. Although this news has not been officially confirmed, if it is true, it is really a case of mountains and rivers being surrounded by doubts and there is no way out, but there is a village with willows and flowers. Why does China want to find another way? The LPP technology used by ASML seems to have a simple principle, bombard tin droplets with high-energy lasers to generate plasma and emit 13.5 nanometer extreme ultraviolet light. But the devil is in the details. The reflective lens of German Zeiss and the laser of American Cyma are the core components that only a few companies in the world can make, and the technology is not disclosed at all. What's more terrible is the patent war. ASML has built a huge patent network around technology, blocking almost all possible technical paths. Trying to bypass these patents is like dancing in a minefield. If you are not careful, you will touch the mine. This is why even Japan and Europe, the old semiconductor powers, are unwilling to go hard on the LPP route, but turn to new technology routes such as nanoimprinting. It's not that their technology is not good, but that they have blocked this road too tightly. ASML's monopoly position has indeed made it a lot of money, but it also puts the entire industry at great risk. Advanced chip manufacturing around the world relies on the equipment of one company, and the risk of this single point of failure is too great. Think about it, if something happens to ASML's factory, or political factors lead to supply interruptions, the global chip industry chain will be paralyzed. This vulnerability provides opportunities for the development of other technical routes. Compared with the high-end LPP technology, LDP technology does sound a bit rustic, vaporize the tin material between the electrodes, and then discharge it at high voltage to let electrons and ions collide with extreme ultraviolet light. But sometimes, the method is more effective. Although the technology sounds simple and crude, it avoids the patent trap and provides a feasible technical path for the Chinese scientific research team. When everyone was attacking ASML's technical fortress head-on, China chose a path that few people traveled. LDP technology is not perfect. It has its own technical challenges, precise control of discharge timing, maintenance of light source stability, and anti-interference ability of the entire system. Every link needs to be carefully crafted. But these challenges are opportunities. Because ASML has not been deeply involved in this route, the patent barriers are relatively low, giving the Chinese scientific research team more room for innovation. If China really makes a breakthrough in EUV lithography, the impact will be revolutionary. Advanced processes below 7 nanometers will no longer be the patents of TSMC and Samsung. Chinese chip manufacturers can also get a share of the pie. What does this mean? It means that China can independently produce key components such as mobile phone CPUs, AI chips, and high-end GPUs. By then, the US chip ban will really become a dead letter. More importantly, this will completely change the competitive landscape of the global semiconductor industry. When the technology monopoly is broken, competition will return to traditional factors such as cost, efficiency, and service, which is good for the development of the entire industry. China's exploration of the LDP route also provides new possibilities for the development of global semiconductor technology. Technological development should never be a single path, and diversified technological routes 
can ensure the healthy development of the industry. Think about the technological breakthroughs in history, which often come from heretical ideas. When mainstream technology encounters bottlenecks, these seemingly alternative technical paths may it will become a breakthrough. Of course, we must also remain rational. Even if we make a breakthrough in technology, there is still a long way to go from the laboratory to the factory. EUV lithography machines are not just about making them, but also about considering a series of issues such as yield, stability, and cost control. ASML has been able to monopolize the market for so many years, not only because of its advanced technology, but also because of its deep accumulation in engineering and industrialization. If China wants to truly challenge its position, it still needs to work hard in these areas. The greater challenge lies in the construction of the ecosystem. EUV lithography machines are only one link in the chip manufacturing industry chain. To form complete competitiveness, breakthroughs are also needed in various links such as materials, processes, and design. This is a systematic project that requires the joint efforts of the government, enterprises, and scientific research institutes, and more importantly, the accumulation of time and patient persistence. The EUV lithography machine dispute is a technological dispute on the surface, but in fact it is a challenge to technological hegemony. For a long time, some developed countries have been accustomed to using technological advantages to maintain their hegemony, but the law of technological development tells us that there is no eternal technological barrier. The exploration on the LDP route is the most powerful response to this technological hegemony. It tells the world, there is never only one path to technological innovation. As long as there is determination and perseverance, there is always a way to break through. The exploration on the EUV lithography machine is answering this question with practical actions. Although the result is still uncertain, this spirit of daring to find another way is itself worthy of admiration. Regardless of whether it will succeed in the end, this exploration has important significance. It breaks the technical superstition of there is only one way to go and opens up new possibilities for the development of global semiconductor technology. More importantly, it shows the backbone and wisdom of Chinese scientific and technological workers. In the face of blockade, we did not cry or make a fuss, but worked hard and used the most hardcore way to break the hands that are holding our necks apart one by one. This is the real Chinese power, not just talk, but actual actions to prove that Chinese semiconductors are rising in their own way. What do you think? Can this technical route become a breakthrough for China's semiconductor industry?